Hello, welcome to the Full Circle Podcast. This is the first one of the day in the world. Hello. Hey, guys. This is Bugs with Mate Campbell hitting the bubbler. And we're here for a, a little surprise jump in 20 minute episode. We got a lot of a lot of music to make today and shit. We got a lot of stuff to do. You have see John Jones fight. But um we were just talking about like relationships and the dynamic of girls and guys and how the shit's weird. So uh, we were like, fuck it, let's not even talk. Let's just talk on this. Fuck. Fucking um Yeah, so um I guess we should start where we're at. <laughs> Fuck it. Why, uh, why are relationships fucking... Arguments sometimes just happen, like, out of, out of nowhere, nowhere, for no reason. <laughs> no reason. Like, about nothing, and then you argue about arguing about nothing. <laughs> right. It's like a circle. A full circle. Full circle. <laughs> No half, no three quarters. So what are you dealing with, dude? What do what do you do to deal with it? What's your what's your method of dealing with that? I don't even know if I have one. I don't I don't know if I have one. Maybe this is it. Maybe. (laughs) Just maybe. (laughs) Maybe. (laughs) Just it just might be. It's like someone to talk to. Some somewhere to go. Someone to talk to besides (laughs) the girlfriend who should be able to do it. It's like, damn, that's a fact. Fucking um, that's great. <laughs> that's defect. That's crazy. <laughs> nah, so like seriously, what do you do like in those situations when, like, if I wasn't here for instance, the moment that just had happened, if you were at work, what would have happened? Would you have said I was at work and I have to go, or would you have said? I mean, would you have been able to? That's the only talk? like that's the only thing. Like, yeah, it's like if I'm at work, I can't be on the phone. Yeah, it's like don't be blowing my phone up. Like, you know what I'm saying? If Facts. you know I'm at work. Yeah, if I'm with a, do that. Like, if you know I'm with saying? a girl, like, she can come everywhere I go. That's but, a fact. But I'm not trying to FaceTime at all. Right. Like, while, while I'm... While I'm doing... What doing I'm shit. Right. I hate when people get in relationships, like, homies and shit, and they disappear. And they're just not even involved. Yeah. So at least you're not like that. At least you're not, like, consumed by... The relationship like some motherfuckers get. But I don't know, that is different. I've I've never dealt with it because that situation that you dealt with because I've never had I've always established like yo, like I text a lot, you know, I'm down with texting a lot, but I can't really do texting. I mean I do when it's like when I'm on the phone texting. Not non stop, but Yeah, not non stop, not non stop texting. Yeah. Cause it's like I don't be knowing how a nigga texts and a nigga don't be knowing how I'm texting. So it's like, I don't really like text that much. It's like if I want to say something. I'll probably DM somebody like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm talking about girls, like, like your relationship. Oh shit. <laughs> I, I got on top of it. way on top of it. The bubbler. I blame the bubbler. <laughs> blame but the nah. bubbler. <laughs> but nah. <laughs> Speaking but nah, of the but nah, it's like, yeah. If I'm like, I still don't like texting that much, but it's like, that's why I'd be on the phone more, but... I guess it's all annoying, but the reason I'm so cool with texting is because, like, we are the generation I of texting. Right, like, right. Like, when I first got a cell phone in, like, seventh grade, and I, instead of instant messenger and having to be on a computer, and no, thank you, he just offered me a piece of gum. <laughs> <coughs> oh, texting is just, like, a part of, like, our generation. Right. So, like, like FaceTiming is, like... I don't know, I don't really dig it. But, um... But if, like I said, like... <coughs> if the girl wants to come to the studio or the show or the fucking anything... She fucking can, but... I'm not gonna sit there on the phone, but that's leading into this. Like, I would feel, like, weird around right. the people I'm with just sitting on the phone with my girlfriend... And I could sense that you felt like, but you didn't want to be mean to her and get off the phone. Right. But in turn, you weren't really talking, but you don't talk much anyway. Right. So she got mad at you, and then you were like, you tried to tell her what like it was, what it be, like, and she was like saying that you don't talk enough, and then we went, <laughs> when you tried to tell her, she said that you talk too much. Right. 
And it happened with listening. Yeah, that happened in thirty seconds. So that's literally why we were doing this podcast and talking because we're confused. And I just looked back at all of the stupid arguments that I had with my girlfriends. And it was the same exact thing. It was nothing. <laughs> like, nothing. Like, you, know. you are like you're not even talking yourself. So, yeah. So you want me to say something while I'm not even in like there, the area. Yeah. You're was sub- like I'm not trying, trying to like I'm, I'm like kind of having a convo with you. I didn't even know you were on the phone, honestly. For like kinda right for it's ten like, fifteen minutes, I didn't even know you were on the like, phone. This ain't phone. my crib. This ain't my space. Like, you know what I'm saying? You gotta go. Like you got it gotta be for me to go to somewhere where it makes you uncomfortable, I guess, because it's like whatever. But then it's like you don't give a fuck about what I'm doing. Why I say I even yeah, come no here. Decency for what it's like you're you know doing. what I'm saying? It's like every time most of the time if I was to go somewhere or what say I'm going somewhere, it's like now we gotta talk about it. Mm-hmm. Type shit. It's like uh, yeah. After this, now you got to talk after it. After it, it's like a whole thing. And now I put it on airplane mode. Now it's gonna be on that too. Like you know, it's like well, that's a different. I, I wouldn't do that, but she I would did. Just keep like blowing it's on you. I know, but she like, would keep blowing you up. Exactly. But it's like. But that's the thing. Is she, even if you guys don't get stuck on the phone, or she may, if she makes you feel weird though, she's still fucking your mood up, and that carries into. That's what I mean about abuse. There's that's what right. a lot of guys are mentally abusive like that with like insecurities <coughs> when their girls go places and shit. Yeah, and I think, I think it's all of us worse are guys. all of us. Yeah, it's well, it could, nah, it goes both ways. No, nah, it definitely I goes both ways. I'm just saying, like, jealousy. Guys really jealousy good, like, is a real thing, but like these motherfuckers, there are levels to that shit, and right. manipulation is a bitch. But there's two two sides to it, though. A lot of guys will want to know where their girl is just for safety reasons. Yeah. Just so, like, God well, forbid. That should be on a that Yeah, should that regular, should be though. regular. Like, just so I know where you are, you know? Because, like, there are crazy motherfuckers out there. Right. You know what I mean? Right. But then the other side of it, there are guys who just, where are you going? Yeah, who are like, you meeting with? Yeah. Duh, duh, like, that's not, that's yeah. not okay. But then we got to talk about... Why do girls get dressed up in the beginning of the relationship for you and then stop? Why do they do that? They 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 like got you. Or or they guess like. So then, when you're in the relationship and you see her getting dressed up for the first time in a while, but she's not hanging out with you, where are you going to impress like that? And like Bobby Lee said, she's like like he's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. where where are you going, bitch? Who are you trying to fuck? <laughs> like. Like, no, bitch, I'm saying you look good. I'm not like, like, that's what he was saying. But, no, like, that's a weird thing. Like, that's a that's a weird thing. Like, there's so many things in a relationship you could be jealous and insecure about that you could eat yourself from the inside out. Like, I have homies who just can't have girlfriends because they're so insecure. It's fucking crazy. I haven't been in a relationship in, like, a year or two, like, two years. But that's because I'm not, like, ready for it. I'm not anywhere where I want to be, like, at all. That's a selfish thing, but right. you can't be with anyone or something like that if you're not mentally right. anything sustained, you know what I mean? We're all a work in progress, but... Yeah. And, a, and, a, and there is a sense where the person should be, quote-unquote, ride or die or whatever... But I don't know. I I feel like relationships like everybody. I do believe people have like multiple soulmates. So I do believe like a soulmate doesn't have to be a a girl like a physical sexual relationship. Like soulmates are are all different kinds of relationships. But as far as love soulmates, I do believe there's a couple of them. You know, a couple people that you just perfectly match with. Yeah. But it's like you can never be together type shit. Yeah. I'd be breaking yeah. this shit down. Like, is it like just having one partner? Like, is that like... Because br- mixing like what we are humans with our conscious and what's morally good and not good. You know what I mean? Morally good is having one spouse. You know what I mean? Yeah. And having one family with that. But this is where the science weird shit comes in. I could have sex with 500 girls tonight and get 500 girls pregnant. None of those girls can get pregnant again for the next nine months. But I could get another 500 pregnant the next night. 
<laughs> Think about that. Yeah. As far as science and biology, how we were created, yo. Yeah, it's like we have the power. <laughs> yeah, so like we're so like, it's like we're supposed to. It's yeah, like right. we're made to just hunt and go out like bi- biologically. So right. that might explain why we're attracted to certain things, like just the curves of a waist and shit like that that attracts mm-hmm. us to that shit. Like that's that's so weird to that's think weird. about. That's so weird. now add in our conscience of trying to be morally restrained. I don't know. It's like they don't give us enough credit. <laughs> That's why chivalry's dead. <laughs> they didn't give us no credit for anything. <laughs> Talking about jealousy, trust is a bitch too. Like that one line I wrote in that song the other day. Or yesterday, like fucking something about um it was like in the beginning of the song it was good, but then I but then she started posting pictures of her titties. I was like posting pictures of your chest, that shit got me stressed. Like I can't even imagine how many DMs these girls get on the regular. Yeah, right. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah, you. <laughs> I get DMs from chicks on the regular, so I can't imagine what these girls are getting from dudes. Cause biologically they're hunters at the end of the day. And like social media made it, they made people be able to hide behind the DMs too. A lot of the people who reach out, like as far as sending heart emoji comments or like liking girls' pictures, they wouldn't dare go say hi to that gorgeous girl in person. Fact. And a lot of those gorgeous girls don't look like that in person. Fact. That's that sexual posturing, the makeup, like like when girls in relationships they stop dressing up a little more. And there's nothing wrong with it. I'm not saying anything's wrong with it. But I'm just saying, what is that? Is that a psychological win? Or like, like they got it? Like now they don't have to be what got us? You know what I mean? I don't know. It's probably like just when, like... When championship... If a, girl, if a girl see the guy at his worst, right? Because guys ain't going to hide. Well, no, uh-huh. they hide. Guys mm-hmm. hide a little bit. More than girls do. Mm-hmm. Probably the same. Now they both are the, the same, same right? dude. I think it's the all the same. Everything's the same. Yeah, I think it's, it's just equal. Nah, you know what makes it the same? My fault. I'm getting off topic. But it's like, I'm going to come back to that. But it's like... Uh, I don't forget what I was saying. <laughs> yeah, I was saying. <laughs> uh, I got quiet because I knew that was gonna happen. Yeah, nah, I knew it was gonna happen. I should have stayed on what it was. <laughs> I was like, fuck it. Now nah, I forget that too. <laughs> I forget that too. Fuck. This is why I get arguments. I hate that shit. This is I why this podcast shit. happened, yo. Self reflection, dude. I hate that shit. You're the problem. <laughs> You're the problem. <laughs> You're the problem. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> See, so it goes uh, both ways. It goes sometimes. both ways, bro. Damn, that shit. That shit's ass. That's ass. It's like, no. Nah, that's a, No, now I remember. <laughs> now I remember. Say, hurry up before you forget. Nah, because it's like, the way it's the same, like, I was thinking, like, it may be guys hide more or whatever, but nah, going back to that, it's like, I don't, I don't, uh, I don't, like, forget to, I, I forget a lot what I'm about to say, but I don't do that too much when I'm, like, in a conversation, mm-hmm. so it's like, but it's like how it's the same, it's like, she cannot talk, right, and I would still be, like, having to stay in the conversation, but... I, I have lost. no I'm idea. Lost, I'm, what lost. You're I'm lost. I'm lost. I'm lost. So you I'm are the problem. problem. I'm the problem. <laughs> you're the problem. I'm the problem. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I'm the problem. Fuck it. <laughs> Fuck it. <laughs> Yo, I swear I felt like I almost remembered again, but I'm not saying it. I'm not going to say it. <laughs> I'm not going to say it. I'm... Oh my God. <laughs> nah, I would just say I'm the problem. All right, <laughs> all right. So fucking fuck. <laughs> fuck it. <laughs> oh my god, dude! No, holy even, shit! Um, know. what's that I, word that like, I'm yo, trying I'm to figure out? Now you got me fucked up. Your brain cloud. I don't even know how your brain I'm the problem cloud is cloud much. You know? I'm starting to think like, yeah, I don't even know how I'm the problem. Like, I might be, but how? 
Just because well, I forget. Sometimes, something. like, you can't just talk. Like, I mean, nah, sometimes just... if there's nothing to talk about, you can't just talk. But but you were just clearly trying to explain something. Exactly. And you just kept saying, like, and pretty much just t- did it in your brain but didn't say it. Yeah, because it's like if I say it. Or you you got to say it. Yeah. About, oh, no. <laughs> I'm about right now. I forgot. I really forgot. <laughs> it, it, it clouded me because I, I should have stayed on what I was like, what? The next thing that came to mind, and I probably would have like remembered again, but I don't Bird. know. I did get brain But what I was saying, fuck, sorry, earlier <laughs> before that <laughs> was as far as the them getting dressed up and shit. Mm. Fucking a championship fighter when he's fighting and everything he does to get to the championship, he has to do that and more to keep the championship. Right. So why do girls, when they get the championship, us, hmm. stop doing what they had to do to keep the championship? Whereas we have to continually mm-hmm. be the magician. And this, and that, and that, and that. You know? Yeah. The second they get in, boom, comes the privilege. Why aren't you talking? Don't give me attitude. You're talking too much now. What? What? Like, so I see you there, how it gets confusing in situations like that, and you, like, you don't even know what to say about the argument that you're arguing about, and there's nothing to say in the first place, you know? So when it comes to that point, when there's just nothing being said, and you just look for a convo to talk about... Yeah, I can't do that. Yeah, it's 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 a little weird. That's why I just talk about goofy shit. Like, you notice, we're a lot of the times when we're not making music, we're just sitting, and I'll just... I'll just make a sound. Right. <laughs> like, I'll literally like, just... What? Uh, what? <laughs> what? Because <laughs> I need something. I'm like, what? And, and everybody else goes like... They just say, what? And it, it just starts... It just gets some weird <laughs> yeah, vibe in yeah. the air, and it makes it funny. Like, I like shit to be just some sort of energy coming around, you know what I mean? But if there's nothing to talk about, don't fucking talk like that, you know what I mean? Because then you're just pressing to get inside. But but it is weird how the power dynamic changes. And in relationships, it's just like... That's probably like one of the main reasons I'm single too. It's just not worth... It, I, I don't see the worth in it to me right now. Especially with how easy it is for girls to hunt now. Girls are the hunters now. You know, they're the aggressors now. So like the whole relationship dynamic has switched for us. It's weird. It's weird, yo. It really is. And I don't know. I don't know if people were ever fucking like really loyal. It's probably the same as it ever was, but you cannot deny the biological makeup of me being able to get 500 girls pregnant tonight, mm. tomorrow, and the next day, and the next day, and the next day. And all those girls would take nine months to be able to get pregnant again. Like just breaking that down is <clears throat> that's insane. That's wild, yeah. To think about, like, yeah. But blam. Yeah, but blam. <laughs> <laughs> the next day. But blam. Yeah, so scientifically, dude, like, biologically, we're, like, supposed to be as horny as we are. You know what I mean? That's probably something we got to control, though. That's probably the thing we have to control, though. Nah, cause girls, yeah, girls, girls get horny. It's so fucked up. I mean, Patrice, nah, I'm Patrice. talking about. Nah, I'm talking about like the fact that like, cause like we're men, so it's like that's what our power kind of is. No, but I'm saying it happens the same way to women later on in life. Like Patrice O'Neill says this. Like <laughs> the Patrice O'Neill said, the value of the pussy dies at 25, like 26, hmm. like they got to like 30, but then they start getting horny like we were from 18 to 35 at 35. So it's so weird how oh my. the the, so what the, the fuck te- like the testosterone about? and estrogen is is different like that. Like we're hornier younger, they get hornier older, but the value of their body gets worse older, and we kind of that sucks can progress easier than that sucks women do. Yeah, it sucks. Yeah, we're how like we're not we, we're not. By the way, we're not bashing women at all. We're just. No, Two guys trying to break down a relationship situation that he went through, and it's stemming off into other it's conversations. That's all. That's all. <laughs> uh, I, I mean, I guess I have to say this, but uh, 
she knows my voice, but babe, I'm not talking about you. We're just having a convo and in general. In general. And it's going off into other shit and it uh you know the shit. I don't I don't know. It's yeah, you like, better she gonna be mad at you if she listens to this. I mean, it's like just a I didn't think about that. I'm sorry. I mean, nah, it's like bro, I got just myself into it. Nah, I ain't gonna not tell her. I'm gonna tell her. I, I'm I'm that We too, talked about it I'm on too the podcast. Direct. Like I'm too direct. It's like I, I I'm not gonna do something. It's like, yo, my, my uncle told me this. It's like he was like, if you can't say nothing to somebody, like don't say nothing. If you can't say it to their face. Right, basically. Basically that. And I'm like, all right, ever since that, it's like, yo, why am I even scared? Like, why would I even be scared to say something about somebody or, or behind somebody's That's back? Because, like, if I'm going to say something behind somebody's back, that means I wanted to get to you. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, I ain't going to do that. I got myself in this predicament. You know Facts. what I'm saying? I said, all right. So You're the like, problem. But it's like, maybe I have to be too direct because it's like, all right, look, bet. Put it like this. I am the problem, right? Because... I, I I cheated on it. I cheated oh, on it. Right. So it's like, all there right, I, I expect, I expect. There it is. I, I don't expect it. Well, I didn't expect it at first, but it's like, yo, we've been in a relationship for mad years. So it's like, I already know the shits, and you should already know the shits. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, after we had, a, after something like, we had a that final pact type shit, where it's like, yo, no more secrets type shit. Or because it's like, yeah, I lied to her about it too. But I and I get all that shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, I get, like, yeah, you don't trust me. You don't believe me. This and this and that. So it's like, I got to make you believe me. Like, you know what I'm saying? And then it gets to that. So it's like, that's, that's not, why that's I'm too healthy. direct. That's, yeah, that's why I'm too direct. That's not healthy. So it's like, and that makes me get too direct to everything. That's why I really can't talk. And then because, she's just talking you when you're here right. thinking that something's happening. Right. And yeah, it's like, I'm too good. direct because it's like, it, it makes me... Get like that, and I'm every, polite because I know how the shit is. You know what I'm saying? And I and I get quiet in my own crib, and I want to fucking blast crib. music, and I want to run At around and, and yo, I jump swear, on I was thinking that shit. Yo, last night I had this in my head, bro, or or not nah, just now. I had this in my head. It's like yo, I haven't maybe, but not like thinking about every person. But it's like yo, almost every person that I go to like my like my my man's or my somebody's crib is like it's always something yeah when i'm like you know what i'm saying but yeah. not not always an argument like or something like it just was but mm-hmm. it's like it's always <clears throat> something or something like it's that's like, not okay it's not it's like yeah and it's like obviously not okay what you did but like but like that's that was thing. years ago though that's what i'm saying oh it happened years ago years ago mm-hmm. that's what i'm saying we've been together for many years so it's like what is it even what is the problem now it's like What's the problem now? You know what I'm yeah, saying? She's, she might not get over it. She might not be able to. I, personally, like, yeah. I wouldn't be able to get over it if a girl cheated on me. I'd be done right away. And you away. know what? The first thing, you know how it's like, right away. the first thing I told her, the first thing I told her, one of the first things I But told that's her. only if it's when like it's a like, bond, like, were you guys like bonded? Like, were you together together when you cheated? No. Were you like, we're together right now? No. You were just hooking up and you hooked up with another chick? Yeah. Oh, yeah. She's what? Buggy. She's Captain Buggy. You know what I'm saying? But it's like... She's Captain Buggy right now. It's like... It's like... What was I saying? Damn. She got faith in you, though. Yeah, exactly. That's <laughs> she got like, her faith That's in even you. why I'm still here. <laughs> it's like, you know what I'm saying? It's like, yo, I see... Like, you know what I'm saying? I'm not dumb, so it's like... I see that you're still here for a reason. What makes you think I'm still here for a reason? So ain't nothing you gotta think about, worry about type shit. You just overthink because of what happened. You know what I'm saying? Forever ago, yeah. So it's like, but so it's like now I gotta adjust she, myself. She set it up. She set herself up for that. Some exactly. girls, yo, that's what I'm saying. Hold on, some hold on, hold on. Let me like get to that. it. That's the first thing. The first thing I said. That was like one of the first things I said when I, after I told her that I cheated on her. It's like, all right. She was like basically saying she won't be done with that. I was like, I'm like, obviously I'm like, nah, I won't be done type shit. But it's like, then it's like she was like saying she won't be done. So I'm like, all right. It got to a point where it's like, or she's saying like she asked me like she's like basically still not trying to just break it off, but she wants to break it off, but she loves me that much I guess so it's like you know what I'm saying. One of the first things I told her, bro, is like yo, if you're not like if 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 it's only gonna like, like, if you're only gonna get back to together with me, just to for shit to happen in the long run type shit, you might as well not even, you know what I'm saying. 
That was one of the first things I told her. And now, look, years later. Well, that doesn't work. You know, those things don't work. There's promise, well, like, promise me this. That's what I'm saying. Shit. It's like, yo, if, if this is going to happen later, don't do it now. Don't don't just settle up and don't just come back just for shit to happen in the long run. Because if you're not if you're gonna start not trusting me, you're gonna obviously it's gonna happen. I told it like obviously it's gonna happen. But if it's gonna stay like that, why even? Well, this is what I was gonna say. Some girls just like abuse. Like they literally enjoy it. And some of them don't even know it. Like I have some homies that are girls. That I never hooked up with. It's possible, yo. And it's just like that saying, girls like the dickheads or something, nice guys never win. That's a fact. Like, it's that might be a biological thing, too. Like, they're prepared for the guy to leave and go fuck other girls because he could get 500 pregnant. <laughs> I'm just rambling off on, like, what it might be a fucking reason, like, right, a, right. that we can't explain in a goofy way. Right. But what was I just saying? Oh. You didn't listen to what I just said. I heard it, but it's like, you can't ask me what you said. <laughs> you can't just ask me. <laughs> like, you forgot. It's like, I'm going to forget, too. <laughs> I, I, like, I heard you. I was going with you. But it's like, you can't just ask me what you were saying. <laughs> so I don't know where you was going with it. I don't even. So that's the podcast for today, guys. Let your mind wander. Think about whatever you want after that. <laughs> <laughs>